Hey guys, I'm Tim. And I'm Bob. Welcome to the Board Game Rundown. Today we are going to talk about Sorcerer City from Druid City Games, Skybound Games. I guess it's got a couple tags on it. Okay. It's got both. Okay. But anyway, Sorcerer City is sort of this new, new-ish, mm -hmm. like tile laying, like it's pretty hot right now. It's, yeah. it's pretty popular. Mm -hmm. We are reviewing the version that you can get in stores. There is a deluxe edition with, frankly, nicer nice, uh, components. Nicer bits, yeah. But, I mean, essentially, nothing that changes gameplay. Nope. So, you can go out to the store and get this version, and you are going to really get everything you need to have a good experience playing the game. Yeah. Kind of the fun thing about Sorcerer City, or the appeal, is that you've got basically like a deck mm -hmm. of tiles, yep. and everybody's got their own, and then you flip the timer. It's, what, around two minutes? Yeah, it's two minutes. The My timer I timed it is 90 seconds, but they have a... I do have the Kickstarter one, so it might be slightly different. Oh. But they have an app, and the app is way helpful because a lot of times you're so focused on building your cities, you don't realize you don't the realize time, time has run out. And that gives you like a sound effect when there's only 10 seconds left. And sure. it you know, makes a noise when it's done, so it's a little easier. And so while, while your timers go and you're doing like Carcassonne style of like trying to build a city, yep. you, you don't have to have the colors match, but you're going to get bonuses Correct. for having them match. And then there's different like scoring options on some of the yep. tiles. So you're trying to build these combos. The fun thing is once you've placed a tile, it's stuck. Yeah. You don't get to move it. Right. So there's not like, oh crap, this would be better over here. Like, nope, you're done. There are some tiles you can buy that allow you to move sometimes. Right. But I mean, right off the bat. Right off the bat though, yeah. Once right you place bat, it, it's done. Place. One at a time. You don't know what's coming next. And so you play through rounds. You gain different resources, which mm -hmm. then you spend to buy new tiles. There's a ton of options as far as tiles yeah. go. We just put out the That's rainbow great. ones and some of these. Now. They give you different like scoring options. Some of them have like an instant effect, yep. like when you buy that tile. Mm -hmm. The rainbow one's always neat because it just counts as every it's color. Wild, yep. So and they're cool looking anyways. And then when you go to like the next year, the monsters start coming. Yeah, because every year it resets. Like you reset your resources back down. Yep. And you only get to keep your victory points turn to turn, which are done via these coins. Correct. And then and then you pick your city back up and put it back into a deck right. with all your new tiles. And then you do it all over. And, again. Yeah, and you shuffle them all together. Yep. And then, yes, and then there's a monster in there. And it gets added in. So, yeah, it that's pretty much, like, how it plays. It goes relatively quickly. The longest part is just kind of, like, scoring their, everybody scoring their cities. Yeah. Because you build your cities simultaneously. Yeah. So, yeah, you go through five years, and then at the end... Whoever has the most victory points wins. The most prestige. Prestige. Yes. So we're going to break this down into our normal categories. categories. Okay. I'm going to say we like to start with accessibility, mm -hmm. and we rate from one to five. So accessibility, this is very accessible. This is very easy to teach. I will give it a four out of five for one thing. Okay. We had to go online and in a public forum ask because it's... Not in the regular part of the rules, it's in one of the examples um, where it tells you that at the end of each year you pick up your city and shuffle it all together. So there were some questions and we really struggled with like our first game because nobody could agree. And then I went online and as I had posted like a question on Facebook, hey, how does this work? Because I knew that one of like the, some of the people from Druid City Games and Skybound Games are like in this specific group. Okay. So I was like, if they don't answer, somebody will because they all know these guys. They know the games really well. And it was like five minutes, yeah. right? And then I did find the example mm -hmm. that said it while I was waiting. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh yeah, it's here, but it's in this one little corner. Right, they changed the color of the font to make it stand <sighs> out, but then you just overlook it. <laughs> right, because right. I don't always read the examples because yeah. it's like, well, I understand how that works. Yeah. You know, well, clearly I didn't. <laughs> But it, otherwise, it's very easy to teach, and yeah. you can get you can get this on the table with really anybody. This is mm. almost a gateway game, almost. Almost. It, uh, the The time strength does burn some people's heads a little bit. They they feel under the gun. Oh, well, they like, deserve it then. They <laughs> they need to play quickly. Yeah. So I you, do I do like the time rounds. To me, that's the appeal. Like I like the oh, we have crunch time. We got to hurry up and go. Sure. You know, and that, sure. that adds to the frantic. Otherwise, if you can sit there and like meticulously plan out how you want to build things, it uh, wouldn't be as fun. Yeah, it would be it would no fun. It would forever. It would be no fun. Yeah. No but fun. But having to do it super quick is right. I enjoy. Right. So for me, it's a four out of five. It's not very hard to learn mm -hmm. at all. It says this game is in stores everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's a good game to you can get. It's a good family game. Mm -hmm. So accessibility for me is a four out of five. Yeah. I had the one complaint. 
with the book, just about the book. But with the book, and it's not terrible. It's like, not a terrible. We've book. had terrible role. Books. I found it in there when I when I learned how to play. <sighs> You're better than everybody else, or at least me. I'm I'm really glad that that's on tape. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question for you though, as a colorblind person, right? Yeah. How do the colors jive for you on the tiles? Yeah, so the reds and greens can be tricky. Like if I'm like looking at other people's far away, it all kind of blends together. Sure. To tell. But when I've got mine and I have it right up on top of each other, I can tell that those are different. Yes, because you know, they do have different like iconography correct. underneath. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. You can because you can see like the reds have like the little um, towers and yeah, turrets rooks, and castles. Stuff. Yep. yep, and then. And the green ones, it's just it's nice big buildings. It's the prestige. Right. Right. So th that does help a little bit. But, you know, you're on a time limit, so you can't be like, hold on, let me, let me see. Here. Right. You know? <laughs> right. Okay. Trying, to, trying to go quick. Because I thought of you. I know you yeah. like this game. So I, I thought of you when it's it, like it, a it color tricky. determinant yeah. game. Like, uh -oh. I'm always second guessing people when they're adding this. I'm like, no, that's not like, oh, that's red. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. I take, I take it back. back. Yeah, because, like I said, further away, it's a lot harder to tell. But when it's up close and personal, it's a little bit easier to distinguish it. There is a difference. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So accessibility is a four out of five. Yeah. The next thing I like to talk about and look at because it's a big thing for me in games is components mm -hmm. i like the artwork yep i like the artwork on the cards the tiles are a nice thickness yeah they're, they're fun it's kind of fun there's something satisfying about like shuffling the tiles, tiles. like i like that tactile thing mm -hmm. the coins are fine they're, they're punch -outs. the problem is if you did the kickstarter or you go online and you buy from their store like mm -hmm. they're fancy interlocking coins yeah, which are very neat they are very neat my problem is is that they don't do anything other than track your points yeah so but you can hear this or you can hear <laughs> clank, 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 clank. <laughs> i will splash that's the, the pot that's right i'll splash the pot that's right yeah but i mean you could use poker chips uh, yeah, but you could use anything that counts. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> and then also knowing that, like the deluxe edition, the little has... yeah, instead of these little wooden things to track, you have uh, little plastic miniatures of the. So I mean, that's about it. So components wise, I mean, I give it a four out of five because it does enough things right, and yeah. the artwork's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. I kind of go back and forth on the colors because sometimes. The colors are very, well, for non-colorblind people, it's a very easy way, like, as you're laying it out okay. to do stuff. So, like, a Carcassonne or something, right, where you're, you're like, well, this is clearly a field still. Or, like, King Domino. Have you played King Domino? Yeah. So, King Domino, you can tell, like, differently, and it's not just the colors. Right. I mean, there the is a color scheme, but the very... artwork tells you. So, it took a little getting used to yeah. sort of the color scheme, because it doesn't really look like a city mm -hmm. when you're done. Yeah, not really. You know, like mm -hmm. King Domino, it does kind of look like a kingdom, and, and Carcassonne definitely like looks right. like a whole like kingdom or mm -hmm. land, right? But but yeah, it's a four out of five because these these all these bits are really nice. The cards are good. There's the monsters are really cool. Yeah, they're a neat effect. When they flip those over, they all have a separate ability that wrecks havoc on your city. Yeah, so mm -hmm. so you know, it's a four out of five. It could have been. It's this could have easily been a five. I don't know that the deluxe version would have pushed it over only because the coins are nice but mm -hmm. they're not needed yeah because they're not even like currency you know they're just right. they're victory just, point markers yeah, correct which you could have a track yeah that you, has you a victory point. Yeah. <laughs> you could yeah they sell really cool like gold counters abacus really like, counters yeah oh, that's neat yeah, yeah so one of my minor complaints about it and the, and the components is that on the backs They've got a little symbol here, right? And so that symbol is going to uh, tell you where it's from, right? All the basic ones have a different symbol on it, and that tells you it's a starting deck for that. And then there's tier one, or yeah, tier one, tier two, three, and four, and they all have a number on there, right? And then the monsters have little swords on there. So if you shuffle it up and you look, and you're like, oh, I've got a, I've got swords, I've got on a there, stop, right? I got a monster coming, yeah. They could have figured out a way maybe to put it on the front so as so you wouldn't be able to tell. But I try not to look as I'm playing. I'm well, trying to I guess I feel like that's out. sort of the strategy though, right? Because there's been a time where I was playing, I was down to like. Two, two or three tiles. Uh -huh. I knew that was a monster. I'm like, I got enough points. You hit that monster early. You hit that monster early. You got to eat it, right? Because oh, there's yeah. no way you're not going to play your the next seven day. tiles, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you get it. You're down to like one or two. Eh, I'm fine. I don't think about that. that seems, I'm fine. That seems cheaty. What? <laughs> it says in the book you can stop whenever you want. 
That's true. It does not say you have to go through. It specifically says you can stop whenever you want. It does say you stop. It's not even one of those words. Does it say you can look at a symbol to tell what card it is? Sure, it does. Because in the example, it cites that maybe you see something coming up that you don't want to play. Oh, really? Yeah. I missed that part. I found the part where it says to shuffle your deck. You read the important part. And then I didn't read the part where it says to do something. I ignored that rules part (laughs) for the rules part that I like. Okay. But yeah, it's interesting. So, gameplay. Going into gameplay, Mm -hmm. I kind of waffle back and forth. Uh, it's a really good game. It's very solid. I think, I don't know what it's missing. There's a je ne sais quoi that I just can't put my finger on that mm. would make this a five for me, but it's a four. Like, I can get it played. Mm-hmm. People really like this game. Mm-hmm. It's very, it's colorful. It's neat. The, there's, the mechanics are really neat, right? Mm-hmm. Like, the idea of, like, timed city building is mm-hmm. really fun. Like, I really like all of that stuff a lot. I think it's There's like almost no downtime since everything's done simultaneously, yeah, which is nice. Because you're really you're figuring out your scoring. Everybody's figuring out their scoring at the same time, and mm-hmm. you, you might double check yours or somebody else's. But right. for the most part, yeah, I mean it's like boom, 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 mm-hmm. and then you get some good stuff, and the game doesn't take long to play. Like no. all things I like, yeah. So I don't know what it is. Like it's maybe something in my brain. Maybe I just need to play it a few more times. It could be. I played it a handful of times, and I've always had a good time playing it. But How yeah. many people do you play, did you play with when you played? Just two or? No, well, let's see. We did two player and then like maybe two or three games of three player. Okay. And that, that's the nice thing too is like whether you're playing two or four, it doesn't really add a whole lot of extra time. Not really, yeah. Because everything's done somewhere. Not really. So. Actually, I, I there was one four player game and it, mm-hmm. yeah, it still went pretty. It still moved along at a good, good pace. at a good clip. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if it's these that bother me. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But oh. One complaint on gameplay. Okay. And I feel that this is legitimate. You, If you don't remember what the monster does, like yeah, especially in fewer in later levels where you got multiple Four types four. of monsters mm-hmm. and you're under a time restriction and you're like, oh, what does this thing do? And then you're trying to read what the monster does. Can be a little tough. Yeah. But I think after a few playthroughs, you start to learn... Sure. Kind of what they do. And you're like, oh, this the giant, he's going to get rid of a tile. Oh, the octopus is going to put one on the bottom. Right. Yeah. Right. So, I mean... Yeah, I I, to, I totally get it. Like, cause I, whenever we would play, I would try to have the card facing the new people. Sure. You know, sure. So they could reference it. And sometimes what I would do is before we even started the round, I'd be like, all right, everybody, look at the monster one more time. Yeah. Like, just get in, try to get it in your head. Yeah. And maybe they could have like a, something like BGG could put up like a little uh, cheat sheet of like the monsters and what their ability does. Give like everybody. And then like we a have little, a little player little, sheet. Yeah. Little card. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, that's a good that fix. Because there's a lot of people that do that. They come up with little, oh like, yeah player aids. You know, post them play, up there. I love player aids. Me I love too. really good player aids. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but I mean gameplay. I mean no real complaints. There's yeah. no, no there's I, no real fault in any of the mechanics. No. I really enjoy how these move up and down and mm-hmm. how you generate your resources and then you spend them and then they all go away. Yeah. And you just reset. Yeah, because it's year to year. It starts out at zero every time. Yeah, I really I really like that. Yeah. Like I, I don't know why, but like I'm like, hell yeah, let's mm-hmm. do that. And yeah. then you just got you got your victory points, boom, mm-hmm. let's move on. I like you can like build up your magic, but then you use your cards to secretly bid what you're going to turn your magic into. Right. And then Because there are benefits to being in the top of the different tracks. Correct, depending on what track you're on, yep. So, yeah, that's also a really neat mechanic. Mm-hmm. And you also might know, like, well, there's no way I'm going to get ahead of Bob even if I spend all my, convert all my magic to money. So, <laughs> so it's like, I'm going to go for prestige. Yeah, you know, victory or, points, convert yeah, it over. Just yeah. do it, boom. Mm-hmm. But there, there's definitely some strategy there. Yeah. So it makes gameplay yep. really good. That's a level to the strategy. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So value. I would say for the game you get in the box, like mm-hmm. just go get this. What does the normal edition go for? Oh, I don't remember off the top 40? of my head. I think it's like 40. I think it is 40. And, I think it was like 70 for the deluxe. Right. So basically you're paying like 30 bucks for the coins. And, and the, some of the upgraded some of the bits. Which is a bit. A bit, for a the, bit. It's a bit for the bits. A bit. It's a bit. A bit. A bit. But, but I would say you go to your game store and you buy this off. You, if any of this sounds appealing to you and you go, you're going to go buy it, you're going to have a good time. Yeah. You're going to get a good game that you can play a lot. Because mm-hmm. now that we're talking about it, it's like, geez, I need to play this some more. Mm-hmm. Because just because I haven't even seen all the monsters. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I've seen a handful of the monsters. Some of them got repeated. 
Does the normal version have the artifacts in there? Yes. Okay. And I like the artifacts. They're crazy powerful. I think you need to play with the artifacts, yeah. personally. Yeah. Like, I like Although, starting with the man, artifacts. I, I don't know if it was one that's in the normal box or if it was one of my Kickstarter ones because it was in a special punch out thing. But it's super powerful. You get to go through your thing and pick out two tiles and, lay them and start with those. Start with those. I mean, nice. it's so powerful. My friend Tim was just kicking our butt with that thing. It not was good. unreal. It's not different, different Tim. Yeah, Tim different that's Tim. good at games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, there's a no, there's a ton of stuff in here, yeah. and they give you good, really like variety, good variety. Changes it up. Yep. So value wise, and this game is very popular, right? Mm -hmm. You're this people are gonna want to play this. You got it on your shelf. Yep. People are gonna, oh yeah, Sorcerer City. I heard about that. You're mm -hmm. gonna get a play. Mm -hmm. So I, value, I give it a five out of five. Yeah. I don't know that I would spring for the metal coins. Yeah, probably. Not. They're really. I gotta say, the metal coins are really neat. They are. They're really unique. They, they, they're like they interlocking. Interlock. Yep. So they, they stack up. They stack up. They look, really they're neat. shaped the same way, right? They look almost just like these. They're just metal and stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. They're really nice. They, they are, are fantastic. Nice. But thirty dollars nice. Uh, I mean, yeah. I got mine because it was all in the Kickstarter, so yep. it wasn't so bad. Yep. And I didn't um, kickstart it. I mm -hmm. I just got my copy from the game store mm -hmm. around here, and but I'm happy with it. I it's it, yeah. It, I, Value, it's a five out of five. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd, I'd call it a four and a half out of five. Sure. Yeah, I'm not sure, sure what else I could have done to make it a little more. I don't know if it's because my timer is only 90 seconds instead of the two minutes. I thought this was two minutes, but I it's could supposed be wrong. to be. The book says two minutes. Oh, okay. But I was like, man, that was a really fast two minutes. So we well, timed listen, it one time. Listen, what, what it is, is they had to save money giving you the metal <laughs> the coins. coins. They so had they took some <laughs> sand out of here. Yeah. And then built that. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. You're lucky you got yeah. 90 seconds. Yeah. Some people will get 85. <laughs> so the app is better. Sure. And I probably will. Go to the app because mm -hmm. the apps are sometimes it's fun mm -hmm. to use those, anyways. Yeah. So, then overall, out of out of five, mm -hmm. what do you give this? I, I'd give it a four and a half, like, four and a half. Yeah, I'm like, I like dudes on a map, I like some other things, you know, but I really enjoyed this. I love the time to make you know, mechanic behind it, you know, the oh, I'm gonna. You know, do a ton of magic so that way you never know. You know, am I going for influence? Am I going for prestige? Sure. You know, that's a lot of fun to do. Most of the games I played have been at two players, so you, it does give you like a a fake third kind of like a dummy action, yeah, right? Where they give you like some cards and you randomly pick one out, and that tells you how many points they scored. Because depending on where you're at each year on the influence rewards, you'll get different right. rewards, and so you you know. Right, that. So that, yeah, that's okay. Like, I played it with three or four players a couple times, and it was fun. I'm much better than using. I I the recommend cards. like three, at least three players. Yeah, as a two player game, it's fine. It's fine, but three but if it is better. better with three or four, Correct. because it doesn't really add to your downtime. Right, the game length does not really expand. Yeah, a lot, which, which is which, awesome. Right, which which is yeah, gave it. That know. is a huge compliment to yeah. the game because <laughs> sometimes it's like, oh, this plays like six players, and then you're like, six players is a nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so. This is, they really, they really, you know, they figured it out. You mm -hmm. know, they got a good, good and, balance. They got a good balance. And two players is still, you're still going to get a good. Yeah, you still get the feeling. You're still building your stuff, doing things the same way. You just. It's just not as interesting with the dummy player, right? Correct. But, but yeah, no, it's, I would it's say a, a four out of five yeah. for me with this game. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I would change. I feel like it's just, there's yeah. something that's just missing to make it a five because the mechanic is so neat, right? Like mm -hmm. the city building mechanic is so neat. I enjoy the monsters because it's kind of fun to see how they wreck your city. I also like Galaxy Trucker. So okay. like Galaxy Trucker, you're trying to build your ship. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is like, after you've built your ship, assuming it stays together, you then now have to get from like point A to B and there's like an event deck that comes out. And so like different things are like hitting, asteroids are hitting your ship and pirates. Okay. And so if you don't have shields on a certain side, you know, your ship's breaking apart. So like this, you've yeah. got monsters, right? Yeah. You've got monsters that come up and are wrecking your city. Like yeah. a dragon will just blow up a tile, you mm -hmm. know, skeletons, can't, nobody can go next to them. Annoying. They're really a pain. Have you played the Lich yet? The Lich adds skeletons. Add skeletons. Yeah, so it's like three monsters. Yeah. You get two skeletons when you, right? When you get a skeleton, don't you get two? Uh, not from the Lich. Oh, not from the Lich? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's better. Yeah, but still, though, every time he comes up, more skeletons. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a bummer. It is. But it's cool. That's why the dragon's cool, because you can destroy skeletons. Yes. <laughs> yes. The dragon is actually sort Helpful. of like. Can be. Can be. But if he's the first one, yeah, first look at my best tile. Oh no, the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But I mean, this is a very solid outing from a very solid game company. Yeah. Druid City Games. 
Grim Forest. Yep. Right? Grim That's Forest, super say. popular. I haven't played Grim Masquerade yet, but oh, it looks really it. cool. Okay. And then one that I'm waiting for on Kickstarter is Tidal Blades. Yes. Is them. Yeah. Looks amazing, it right? Does. Yeah. Stay tuned for a review yeah. whenever it arrives. But until then, Sorcerer City, really good. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun. Play with your family. Yeah. It's a good time, right? It is a good time. So for the Board Game Rundown, I've been Tim. I've been Bob. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the Board Game Rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and Let's Plays. And as always, thanks for watching.